What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a what's in my bag video. I'm gonna be cracking this open, going through all of the camera gear that I keep in here, tech gadgets and essentials that I take with me whenever I travel. So stay tuned and let's crack this thing open and get into it. Hey there, I'm in the process of editing the video you're watching right now, and I filmed all of the content for my bag video the other day, and as I'm going through and editing it, I'm realizing there is so much to cover in this video that I'm gonna actually break it up into two videos. So you're watching part one right now, and the next couple of days I'll upload part two as well. So great reason to subscribe to the channel to make sure you get notified when part two comes out. So the first half, I'll go through half the stuff in my bag, and then the second video will be the other half of the stuff in my bag. So I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned, be sure to subscribe. Again, you're watching part one, part two, coming soon. First up, this is the PackSafe CamSafe backpack that is specifically designed to carry camera gear. The bottom half here, as you'll see in a little bit, has compartments for cameras, lenses, and then from here up is a main compartment. This is usually where I will put my clothes or jackets, depending on how long of a trip I'm going on. If it's just a weekend trip, I'll put my clothes up here. If it's a longer trip, I'll put things that I want on the flight, maybe an extra jacket, extra pair of socks, maybe a change of clothes. But for today, I've just left that empty to show you the things that I actually take regardless of where I'm going. I found out about PackSafe a number of years ago when my wife and I were taking a trip to Bali. We needed to refresh our suitcases and I was looking for a backpack to carry my camera. It was the first trip I was going on where I was bringing a camera and multiple lenses and I didn't have a camera bag for that. And we discovered PackSafe and have been really happy with them. This video isn't sponsored by them in any way or anything else that I'm gonna cover today. These are really the items that I take with me whenever I travel. What makes their bags so unique is they have a ton of theft resistant features. And fortunately, we've never had a problem with theft in any of our travels, but when you're lugging around a backpack with camera gear and lenses and iPads and computers, both from a monetary standpoint, you don't want to lose them. And more importantly, you don't want an unbacked up SSD card of photos getting taken because you'll never get those memories back. So that's why I've got this PackSafe bag. It has a mesh liner throughout the whole thing. So if someone tries to cut into it, they actually can't. Also, all of the zippers attach to these little hooks throughout the bag. There also is a feature on the strap where I can take the strap apart and hook this around a like a chair leg or a table leg and secure it in place. So if I'm sitting there and someone tries to run up and grab, you know, this is gonna get stuck on the chair. They're gonna end up dragging a chair down the street or pull a chair that I'm sitting in and it's not gonna go anywhere. So another great anti-theft feature. A lot of great features to keep your gear safe. Also, if I turn the bag around, it has this compartment in the bottom here. This is a rain coat. You can cover the entire bag with this rainproof coat to protect all of your gear inside. This is the older model. I think I got this in 2017. I've left a link to the latest version of this bag in the description below. I haven't used that one, but based on how great this is, I'm sure that one is even better. All right, so let's start with the front pocket here. This is where I keep all of the little knickknacks that I want easy access to if we're driving somewhere or on a plane, just open up the you know, overhead compartment, have access to this right here. Inside, I have a pair of sunglasses. I always keep these in here because there's nothing worse than a sunny day and you don't have a pair of sunglasses and your eyes just start to hurt. So this is just a pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses. Next up are my AirPod Pros. So if I wanna listen to music, take a phone call, these are great to stash in here. The noise canceling is pretty good. It's not that great on a plane. I would definitely go with a full over ear headphone if I'm 
traveling on a plane, but I always carry these with me. They're a lot more convenient than an over-ear headphone for taking phone calls and you know, just listening to music, doing stuff, so always have those in here. I always keep these Blistex medicated lip balms all over the place. My lips get chapped, especially if you're going on like a ski trip or something like that. This medicated lip balm helps your lips so much and it's just a great thing to have. I also, of course, bring my Fin journals. So I've talked about these a bit on the channel. This is a productivity journal I created over a year ago and just started selling a couple months ago. It helps you identify your most important tasks of the day and keeps you focused on tackling those important tasks to move you closer to your goal. If that's something you're interested, be sure to check it out. Check out some of my other videos where I talk about the Finn Journal a lot more. Next up is a pen, and my favorite travel pen is this Fisher Space Bullet Pen. As you can see, it's a normal size pen when you have it expanded, but when you flip it back around, it folds up into this really small, compact size. So great for a travel bag and great for my Finn Journal. Next up, I have some cash and a little micro cleaning cloth. So these are great for cleaning your iPhone, iPad, computer screen. I always keep one of these in my bag. And then I have some cash. I keep a $100 bill for emergencies. So if anything comes up, this will help cover it. And then also a couple of dollars for tip. So if I am checking into a hotel or at a valet, wanna be sure that I have money on hand for tips. Don't wanna be that guy that doesn't tip. Also in this top compartment is a pocket that has an RFID blocking coating. And so in there I keep an extra credit card, some travel cards, and then also a second form of ID. So if I ever lose my primary ID in my wallet, I have another form of ID so I don't run into any trouble. And then last up in this pocket is my keychain. I've done a whole video on this modular keychain system and all of the items that I have on here. I have this attached into the backpack through this little clip. And so because this is modular with magnets, I can pull off my car key and this Bellroy key cover that has my house key as well as a little utility key. So I can just pull this out and go around with my house key, that utility key, and my car key, or I can use the magnets to snap it back in here and have this whole keychain system. So again, I've done a whole video on this. I'll leave a link to that in the description below, but this has a keychain battery pack that I can charge my phone with if I need to. It has a little hook with a built-in knife, which is really convenient. This six-in-one cable system. So this ties in with some of the other stuff. I really try to keep what I carry to a minimum. So I only carry the cables and the chargers that I need. So this comes in really handy if I need to convert anything from USB to USB-C or to lightning or micro USB super handy to have in here. And then the new addition to this keychain that I didn't have when I put the video together before, I was looking for a good keychain flashlight and I hadn't found one yet. I found this really great Rovivon flashlight that is really, really bright. You can see there how bright it is or on my face, whoa. And so this is a really cool flashlight to have and really completes the full keychain. So I've got flashlight, cables, charger, knife, utility key, and so this primarily stays in my backpack now. And again, if I just need my car and the house key, I can just pull that off and get going. And then when I'm traveling, I can leave this in here. So let me get this stuff back in and we will dive into the main compartment. Quick little addition before we move on. While I was editing this video, I got my Apple AirTags. I got the four pack. I think that's the best value, slightly cheaper per AirTag. So I got four of them, two for me, two for my wife. And so I have an AirTag here, all synced to my phone, ready to go. So I can just toss it in my bag, zipper pocket up here, close it off, good to go. I can track my bag in the Find Me app. This is gonna be really fantastic for traveling. So I always know where this bag and all of the gear inside of it is and I can always quickly track it down if it's ever lost or misplaced or stolen. I think these AirTags are a fantastic addition to any bag setup. I hope you enjoyed part one of this video. Again, this video turned out to be so long, I'm going to break it up into two videos. So this was the end of part one. 
So be sure to subscribe to my channel to be notified when part two comes out. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button down below. It really helps more people discover my content and these tips and tricks that I'm sharing. That wraps it up for this video. Have a great day. Peace.